Again, don't forget your numbers, one, two, three, and four. There's a reason why we're gonna do that. A couple of things to recap exactly what we've done to date. I'm talking about to the time that we've been together. We had uh, a welcome. We had an uh, expert in the field that has come and shared some of the national stories that he's heard and to share with us how data is very important. We then had superintendents or representatives from the different school districts talk about their data, what is working, what are still some of the challenges. Then we broke up into individual groups and we talked about strategies, we talked about goals, how we're going to measure, the metrics we're going to use to, to measure our goals. We also introduced to you the San Antonio 2020 goals and the Diploma goals and how we're going to align that. And we also talked about us talking individually like for our own particular school district and how we're now removing that hat and putting on our collective impact hat. And that means that we're going to start working together so that we can move and make that transformational change to really understand what it takes to graduate students uh, college ready, that we start talking about having access and persistence when they go to college. And then lastly, of course, which is an ultimate goal of ours, is how, making sure that students graduate with a degree that has market value, that that degree is going to get them a good job to support their families. So with that said, we're gonna go into activity number three. But you're looking right now across the room, we've got the different uh, independent school districts that have said, as a collective, as us as a school district, we're thinking now all together, this is what's gonna be good for San Antonio, the city of San Antonio, and all of the children that are representative of those school communities. So what we're going to look at right now, if you look up here, on the wall are posters of lists of strategies and metrics generated by each ISB. For instance, we talked about what actually would be done to achieve the overall targets and the strategies, and we're going to prioritize them. There's so much work around this room, there's so much best practice and proven practices, that instead of going broad, we've got to go very deep. It's not individual, but it's as a, a collective. We're also talking about these strategies are based on discussions that we've had, the past group input, and a review of district best practices and the data. So this is not something that just came out of, you know, I think this is good. We've taken all this day to talk about all of our data and all of the discussions that we put together. Plus, some of you broad experiences and the stories that you have in your school district, and you also shared that with your group. So now this is what we're going to do. We're going to take a few minutes to review the list of strategies, and we'll be using a protocol called a carousel. The carousel goes around and around and around. But guess what? We don't want you to go and uh, and just look at your stuff. We want to make sure that you'll be in your, your strategies and your metrics. We want you to go across. So what we're going to do within your group, we're going to count off to four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You're going to do that in, in your groups. Then all of the ones will go to that side over there, all the ones. All the twos will come over here. All the threes will go over there. All the fours will go over there. And what you're going to do is you're going to reflect on those. Who's ever in your group, because now you notice I mingled you all up. Y'all can talk, have what we call the 12-inch voice and talk about it. You know, I wonder what they were thinking about this. You know what, we're already doing that. Right now, if I were to vote, I don't have to go anywhere else, I would have put my little dot on that one. But what you're gonna do is you're going to find a leader within your group. In this group, for an example, Miguel is the leader. He's the one that's got the green dots. And you are, if you haven't received it, you're gonna just use the green dots. There are six dots, one should stay on here. You're gonna vote five times. But you're going to come, this group's going to come to Miguel and say, Miguel, this is what we worked on in our strategies. These are ours. That one and that one have some that are in line to what I know we can do already to move the needle. I need you to go vote on goal number two and group number two and that because of the feedback that they're going to be giving Miguel. Miguel goes and puts the dot to make sure that what that dot represents is two things. If you notice on the bottom over here, it says, that each team will place up to five green dots in any combination by the strategy that we pursue immediately. This is not something that we're gonna go back and it's gonna take us a year to figure out. 
This is something that within what we call the next phase of the work, within three months we can adapt it, adopt it, roll it out, it's ready to go. And it's ready to go towards your individual goals and those aligned with college at San Antonio 2020 and diploma. The second thing is, no, we're also looking for strategies that potential for impact and collective collaboration. This is something that if I were to bring your school districts into a room, we're gonna measure across all of our school districts to see if collectively we're moving the needle. That means that we're gonna take your, let's say, let's say it's, it's uh, advanced placement, yours, 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 and yours, and how are we doing as a collective uh, impact organization? <coughs> all of us working towards that common goal, all right? So one more time, you're gonna count off, one, two, three, four. One leader will place the dots, you're gonna to have to not convince him, but you're gonna to have to tell him, this is the rationale as to why, uh, once I reflect it, this is what will answer these questions right here, and we're gonna go across. What I'm gonna do, since this is a 30 minute activity, I am going to give, and by the way, what I'm gonna to do tonight is I'm gonna take pictures of all of this, and tonight the facil facilitators and I, we're gonna sit down, and we're going to rank everything that went first, second, third, so you can see it tomorrow, and tomorrow's only activity is the results of today's activity. But did you see the processes that we use? We're also hoping that part of the tools that we're teaching you, the carousels, the discussions, the breaking up, those are all tools that you can also take back and use as part of your processes with your teachers, your central office administration. <coughs> this is good problem solving activity. So in itself today, you also learn or taking back some tools that y'all can work with. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. I am going to time us in every five minutes, that's a 20 minute activity, and then we're gonna have 10 minutes for Q&A, or maybe a little bit more, okay? So every five minutes, this thing's gonna turn off, it's like a fire alarm, that means you're gonna go to the next group and we're gonna go clockwise, all right? So right now, please count off, one, two, three, four. All of you, in the one, two, three, four. No, one, two, three. Three. All right, all right, all the number ones, please go over there right now. And as soon as you click in your place, I'll start the timer. All the twos, all the uh, you pick a leader for your group. All the twos will be over here. The threes for Jacob is, we're gonna facilitate Jacob. Elizabeth's number four. Introduce yourselves. Just to kind of stimulate some of the conversation at the time. 
So on this one here, what we're talking about is how are we going to come together to, to uh, align the SA 2020 and the Bahamas goals, right? So if you notice, here's an 85 and here's an 85. These are in direct alignment. You're going to say, but you know what, we're at 20% to get to 85? Well, you're going to have to shoot high to make sure that if you are at 20 and you want to get to 50, at least you have a big mark. If you say 50, you're still a hero. You know, you gained so much, but you have to show that you're going to give the net for a little bit higher. That was the rationale behind this group. The second thing, if you look across, we talk about creating a college culture that 85% of the students will call graduate college ready. In the state of Texas, there's a definition of college ready. And what it is is that students graduate high school without having to take developmental ed. All right? So that's where they say without taking developmental education, college equals college ready. So that means that these students are going to graduate TSI ready. And the TSI ready is what we're talking about increasing the taking and passing of the college exams. So, in order to fulfill this goal and measure it, the strategies that they're using is that they're going to have a communications campaign. So, that communication campaign, what they want to do is to get all of us to talk the same language. You know, who is going to be served? The school community. Anyone that works with children. Universities. Uh, colleges. Uh, our community members. Teachers. Parents. Students. College culture, that's what we're going to promote. They're going to develop a calendar to do all of this. And the various tools that they're going to be using is newsletters, texting, parent meetings, uh, websites, Facebook. And the strategy number two, we found out that a literacy campaign needs to be also done. None of this can get done if students in third, fifth, seventh, ninth, if the eleventh grade and graduating are not reading on grade levels. They felt that that was a very important thing, very ambitious goal going across because you know what, you're doing that already. or we're supposed to be doing that. But now we're going to work at it with four different school districts to start talking about one level. This one here, increase the taking and passing of the college entrance exams to get, make sure that we have 85% of the students not taking it. But look at the strategies. We're going to build. We're going to build uniform common language and understanding of the TSI. What does it mean to be college ready as far as the testing? We found out that students don't know the requirements for testing. When do you test? What is the language on it? They do college prep testing, but they do it in isolation. Let me give you a real quick example. I went into a teacher's lounge. In the teacher's lounge, I had the tax passing rates in math, in science, social studies, and then in between, we had little spaces. So I got one of these little notes right here, and all I put on there was, uh, you know, the TSI, and I put it in between them, you know? And I said, where's your TSI stuff? And they said, what's a TSI? I rest my case, right? I was being facetious, but if we don't do an intentional of that common language, and all we're focusing on is a, a minimum standard test for the for the year, and not building a college awareness or a testing and everything else. So the strategies again, the common language, and then the last one is a real quick win. Would we be in agreement right now tomorrow? If we could petition our superintendents that we all have a common testing calendar with our first school districts that we agree we'll do everything in our power to test during the school day. The numbers will be higher, we will pay for their tests, they're in a common and they're in a room that they know the teachers, the environment, they know what room to go to because that's where they live. They know you, they know the testing people, they know the counselors, the proctors that are coming in. That's 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 at least a hundred points right there. Alright? So your job time to, to rotate. So your job is to go back. One person in your group is going to have the green ones. You're going to go back and say, you know what, I love this kind of calendar. Go vote for that one. Because this is something that we need to do. Or, you know what, it's true. we got to focus on that. Okay? Okay. Yes. It's cool. <laughs> All right. Time to join the carousel.
really aligned this to the 2020 goals and the diploma goals. The majority of it is to make sure that students graduate college ready. There's some persistence. There's some persistence and access to college, and at the end, that they graduate with a college degree that has market value. Students that can really say, I got a four year degree, and now I'm ready for my job. And guess what? My job is ready for me. Because in this collective impact work that we're doing, people that are out there, the job persons are giving us definition of what jobs are available. We're going to bring them into the mix to talk to us. So goal number one is created a college career going culture. We found out that while it's good in our schools, how can it be great? So we are going to measure that 85% of the students, or the number of students graduate without having to take a developmental ed. In the state of Texas, if I were to ask you, what is the definition of college ready? You know what some people will tell me? Oh, the students need to be good readers. Oh, the students have to be good writers. Well, those are attributes and those are characteristics of a great student. But in the state of Texas, in order for you to be college ready, you have to take the TSI, the college entrance exam, whatever it may be, and they pass it at a level where when they graduate from high school, they don't have to take an elementary course when they get to college. So the emphasis of this group is that they want to work really hard to make sure the students are TSI ready. The strategies is a communications campaign. Parents need to know what does it entail. The students have to have a common language. All of the teachers need to be up to date in regards to the requirements for testing. What do you test? One of the strategies also is that students need to be on grade level in regards to literacy. You can't read, you can't write, you can't write, you can't think, you can't think, you can't communicate. You can't communicate, you're stuck. You're not going to pass a test. So those are the emphasis of strategies. The second one, increase the testing and taking. We already talked about the college campaign. The students, the 85% goal. But check it out on the strategies. You build a uniform, common language and understanding of TSI college ready testing. Remember, Greg talked about a common language, a dictionary that defines what it is. So what is college readiness? What is TSI? Acronyms. Do you think parents know what an acronym is? You know, so the thing with that is to make sure that there's a definition behind an example and maybe a student that, that role model is the Common testing calendar tomorrow. If we had a magic wand, all these four different school districts would come together. Could we decide the four side of the school districts will have a common testing calendar, whereas they will test during the school day? Is that a quick win? Now think about it. If you're in a classroom, I'm a student, I know you. You've been my counselor for the last few years. Guess what? I'm testing in my testing center. I know the computer. And you know what? Computer number three, my lucky one. So I'm going to go sit there. Guess what? It's on, it's on a Tuesday. You know what? I have a ball after school. I'm going to eat good food because I'm going to go out and win. I'm competitive. Guess what? Mom didn't go to work by Tuesday, so she can come and get some breakfast. The family gets involved because there's a common school day that everybody attends. The other thing is free of charge to the students. You know, so the environment makes itself probably adding 100 points just to the kids to the students' score because of the environment that they have. So your job right now, your job right now is to go back to your leader and you're going to say, you know what? In group number one, this was a quick win. What's the 67 percent? No, oh, I'm sorry. The 67 percent that, that I put on here is that 67 percent of the students right now, as far as the, the take, taking the test, 67 percent of our students are taking the test right now. Right, but that's a. a they're looking at the 67% of the students that are taking the test, but out of this, how many are passing? And this was just this was just a school district that, that said in our school district we had 67 percent taking the test. But I said, what is your passing rate? It's only out of half. So remember, and we have to move on. The, this is this is just a girl talk here, okay? So if you look at this, this is what we're looking at. All right, last group. I think we have one station to talk about. Last group? We are the last.
we're, we're coming to the vote on both. We're going to vote on both. Now, right now, we'll do a clarification so your team is going to be giving a couple of uh, overalls on how we're going to do that. But the understanding is, all right, go back to your groups now. But we're all going to vote. We'll get a clarification right now. Thank you. Thank you, Karen.